Today we are going to talk about thread wraps. For those of you who don't know what thread wraps are, it is a little device over here. It stops the annoying ringing sound from your open strings. If you ever have seen players like Victor Wooten, for example, um, he's using a hairband. So this is the same kind of thing, um, but this is a little bit thicker and does it maybe a little bit more efficiently. It could also be very helpful um, when you're playing certain techniques like tapping. And I'm going to give you some quick examples with and without the fret wrap. I'm not into tapping, but here's a tapping example without the fret wrap. Now with the fret wrap, So as soon as you let go the string, it will be muted. The next cool thing is when you're playing chords, for example, because it could be that you don't have a finger left to mute um, the open strings. With the fret wrap. Before we start with the next example, I want to show you how to put this on the neck. So actually you've got, it's really easy, you've got a hole, a strap, just put it into the hole and be careful to not put it uh, too tight because otherwise the G string and the A string in my case um, are going to be muted much more. And be sure to tune your bass again, because it could be that the tuning isn't right anymore. And also, when it's not too tight, you can remove it very easily. I also like to use it in the studio when I'm playing a solo line. Melodies or fast lines, like... And with the fret wrap... With the fret wrap. So you can hear no annoying ringing. For example, when I'm playing the D over here, the open D string will definitely going to oscillate. So when you're going to put the fret wrap on, It will be muted and you get a really clean sound. When you want to play harmonics, it may not work. And we all love harmonics. <laughs> you can get this fret wraps in different sizes. So we've got small for guitar players and four string basses. Then we have got medium for four and five string basses and we have got um, large for five and six string basses. I first thought it's a joke, but there is also an X large for six, seven and more string basses. Come on, who is going to play a seven string bass? It's like ridiculous. strings of fretless and four string of um, round rounds. What? I have to say the fret wrap isn't that cheap so you can also go and buy a thick hairband and a velcro and do it yourself. In my case um, the velcro didn't work after I think two years and I didn't want to throw it away so I just put it under my bridge because I thought maybe I get a cool old school sound. I will show you this, just put it over here. So I think it's a pretty cool way to use um, the fret wrap um, after your 
Velcro isn't working anymore. If you don't want to have the improvised solution, Groove Gear developed a proper thing. I'm going to give you a quick example. As you can hear, um, it is vibrating all the time. Maybe when you're putting this the other way around, the G-string is going to be muted much more. It's not working with the humbucker very well because there's no space left. So we're going to try this with the fender. Better. On this bass, the groove gear thump uh, didn't work so well, so I just got a piece of foam and I'm going to put this um, under the strings and give you a quick example. All in all, these are very useful accessories, but be sure to not use it 24-7. You don't want to develop bad muting technique or bad muting habits, but um, I really like to use it in the studio, for example. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you learned something. If you have got questions, just write it into the comments and hope to see you next time. Bye!